It is a public health hazard. Dirty drug needles popping up in places they're not supposed to be all across the metro. Is a change in state policy to blame? News 13's Brittany Bade has that story. These small boxes, those 500 per, represent a big problem. There's hundreds in here, if not thousands. The piles of syringes in this old parking lot appear to be the same brand and Christine Barber. This is not okay. Who runs a nonprofit serving homeless women says she knows where they're all coming from. These are definitely from the syringe exchange program. The state-run program recently changed their rules. People used to have to bring in used syringes to swap for new syringes. But now people can go in and get however many needles they want and do not have to turn any in. Now they have no incentive to bring them in. And Barbara believes that is leading to a growing number of needles left used and uncapped all over the city. I don't understand the change in the policy. The Department of Health is defending the change. We want to make sure that people get what they need. Zerlo says they are trying to prevent infectious diseases and that needles are still being returned to them. For all the syringes that we distribute, we actually get back approximately 96% of all those syringes. The state gives syringes to around 20,000 people in the state, but could not tell us exactly how many syringes they give out every year. I feel like there's another solution. Also in this parking lot. This is the container you're supposed to put the needles in. Is an empty sharp container right next to thousands of dirty needles. We don't want people reusing needles, but we also want to protect the community. Brittany Bade, KRQE News 13. Albuquerque Mayor Tim Keller and Bernalillo County are spearheading a new program trying to rid the county of dirty needles. We asked Keller if he supported this change. Now his office sent us a statement that did not answer our question. 